I guess I'm going to start this. Uh, not everybody's here, but that, I think what we're going to do here now in the beginning, I'm just going to have a little video for the uh, audience on YouTube, and so then we can ask uh, questions for the project. And I just do this so we can edit this video and post it on YouTube. So hello, YouTube. Very good. So uh, my name is Panza Murito, and I'm here now in, um, in BSV giving this little talk about the our Newbury Buddhist Monastery project, where we're going to start building the building project. And we've been working on this project day and night, or some of our strong, hard-working people have been working, and I, I'm just being asking them all these annoying questions and making them do work for us. Uh, so now, what we're doing now is, uh, the monks and nuns, we are now residing on that uh, lot three, if you see the arrow there. That's the, where we have the existing buildings in, in Newbury Monastery. And the stage we're going to start now is the building has started. We call it has started. But basically what we have is we have our paperwork ready for that uh, to start the work on a lot one. And that's going to be for the monks. So the monks and nuns are now on a lot three. we in separate buildings. But we need to uh, build Kuti's huts for the monks and a little Sangha house. Earlier what we did, uh, we, we had container huts, Kutis. Uh, we, bought, we, we bought those containers many years ago, and it took us a ton of effort to put them down. And uh, the Shire just, they were giving us all these uh, stipulations to how, to how to put them and all the infrastructure to put ready. But, we got it done, and that was a, another where there was a lot of hard work to be done for that. And so now we're going for the stage one, which is the monks area and the infrastructure. So this will include the monks huts, including one for Arjun Brahm, which is great. It's, it's nice to have a, we call it the Arjun Brahm hut. Uh, it's going to be a hut for senior monks, but it's, it's nice to have it as an Arjun Brahm's name. Arjun Brahm is our spiritual director. He comes and hopefully will keep coming to the monastery and teach us. We, l we wish him many, many good years to come so he can uh, help us in it, uh, over there. And also the, we're going to have a Sangha house. So Sangha house, I'll show you the pictures a bit later, you know, more or less the layout. Sangha house, what we need is we also need not just the huts for the monks, but we also need um, a li little library there, office for the monks, obviously. Washing room, the washer, laundry, and uh, little, little, just little kitchenette so we can have breakfast there. And we still keep going to the back to the lot one uh, to have our dana meal meal time. So if you ever come to the monastery, you will still see us there. But now we need to build a just a office building, and what we call the sangha house. We also decided to go with the infrastructure for all of the buildings. Uh, we were thinking in the beginning that. The infrastructure is really expensive at, the, at this moment to, for us to build. But we decided we have to build it, the whole thing now at, at once. So what it means that we need to build sewer system for the existing buildings. The Shire gave us a, a, um, a, 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 what, they, what they told us a year ago. If we don't get a new sewer system for the existing buildings done, they will close us down this year. So we need to do it that this year for that those buildings as well. But hopefully later on, if you look at the, the next one, is the stages two, three, and four, where we're going to have more huts for the monks, uh, huts nuns area, and huts for the nuns, and the meditation center. So the meditation center for lay, for lay people, so everybody to come to monastery. We decided to build the infrastructure for all of those buildings now at once. We, we had a ton of trouble trying to find a contractor for, to do uh, the, uh, to the sewers plant for us. Um, getting through all those contracts, it takes a lot of time and effort from our volunteers. We don't have that much you know, time. But people, you know, they work and then they, we do this on, or you guys do this on your free time. We cannot go there. We need to do the infrastructure now. Unfortunately, it's a lot of money and this, this is why we need to raise more money for, uh, for the project now. So now, stage one, stage two, three, and four, later. Let's go to the next slide. So stage one, what are we doing now? So the sewage treatment approval has been 
given to us. So we can go ahead with the sewage treatment uh, plant. And that's going to, uh, I think it's going to be a next slide, planning permit. We got all those done. That was a uh, thank you for all of our architects, engineers. And the building permits have been issued now as well. So we have all those permits now. And let me tell you, it was a lot of work, uh, mainly from the people who did it, not for me. OK. So now, what we, what, where we are now is, since we've done all the paperwork, and what they call the tenders being issued, waiting for the quotes. So tenders are all those drawings, what we need to do for the buildings, all the, you know, how we're going to build, all those things. So those massive amount of paperwork being issued now to the builders. So now we're waiting for that uh, builders to come back and they give us quotes for those. And we are now waiting for uh, 31st of January will be when is the deadline for that. And then we take a couple weeks to look at those quotes and see who do we want to select as a builder. Well, uh, the sewage treatment plant, we have signed the contract. That's a different part. The sewage treatment plant, that will start, and we already uh, paid from them uh, the 10%. So they, start, they said they will start on 15 of January. And that only takes two weeks. So the next exciting thing is, as uh, the third one there, the groundbreaking ceremony. The, so that's the second week of February. So that's where we, uh, we have the contractors. We're going to have all the important people, our president, fire, vice president, hopefully some famous people coming to monastery, all of you. And uh, we're going to have a groundbreaking ceremony on the second week of February, hopefully. So everybody's invited. And... Uh, I think we're, gonna, we're moving ahead really well, so it should happen. And that's the, the ceremony is that stage one, which is there, the five monks huts, the Sangha house, and the infrastructure for everything. So this is what the monks huts are look, gonna look like. This is just a rough idea. We changed a little bit here and there, but they're just tiny little huts. We, we built um, shower and toilet for every single hut, just for the, because uh, Newbury, if you've ever been there, it's a, it's a really windy and cold place, so we decided to have every monk live just a tiny bit more luxury than what we have in some monasteries and some monks' huts. So that's what the picture outside. Uh, it's changed a bit, but you get the idea. It's a tiny one. This is the, the Sangha house. Uh, this, the layout has changed a bit as well, but what it just shows here, we're going to have a, what we call the Dhamma hall. For meditation, monks and can have do our ceremonies. You know, meditate there. Then we have uh, uh, in this picture. There's a library on the left. We changed it now. It's a little bit opposite, but we have a library. Then we have the little kitchen, sewing room. Some monks we fix our robes. Um, a laundry is very obvious. That's another thing. We took four hours yesterday talking about how we monks can try our clothes and where should we do it. So I I've asked a lot of annoying questions. Um, but we're lucky we have a very good team. So that's the picture from my uh, uh, Sangha house from outside. So this is the important uh, slide. The funds raised and required. Uh, so obviously, now the infrastructure is the big, big amount here. Uh, we thought we were getting close uh, to raising the funds. I think early on when they talked, uh, we. We thought we were getting quite close of having all the funds. And now that we have all the infrastructure for the whole, all of the project need to be done now, we still need $725,000, a lot of money. And I just talked to my father a couple nights ago, and he said, oh, it's a, so the government doesn't help you? No, no, the government doesn't help you. <laughs> uh, you get some, you know, at least some you know, tax money. He was like, no, no, we don't get any tax money. So he said, oh, it's a lot of money to ask for people. I said, well, yeah, well, we can go ahead with it. So the good thing is we have Arjun Brahm in our project. Uh, we've been, uh, our president has been sweating quite a bit, and we've been going with these emails back and forth. And, um, but now I managed to convince him that we let's just move ahead. I asked Arjun Brahm to send us an email, and he said, I've looked at this project before. I, and he said, I looked the figures. He said, I know exactly what's happening here. The Mara is trying to obstruct the, this project. But we've gone too far. We need to move ahead. We're doing well. Don't worry. Just keep moving ahead. So 
he told us, you're, you're okay, just do the whole infrastructure now, we, we should be fine. If we're not, I might have to go wash dishes in uh, our local little town in Trentham. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So the infrastructure is the part we need a lot of money now. <clears throat> the Sangha house, we still need 230,000 for that. Um, that's not so much, but obviously what we're gonna do now is that, like I said earlier, uh, the sewage plant um, is being raised and we are going ahead with that. That's only two weeks, two weeks project. We need to do that now because otherwise the Shire said, no, they'll close us down. So we need to do the sewage plants. And this, the monks' huts were easy to raise. Obviously, people want to give huts for the monks, but we still need the infrastructure into the huts. So where there's still something to be done. Um, I don't think there's not much to that more than that. We'll keep you updated. That's why we have this. I'm going to keep doing these kind of things where we, I'm going to have the crown breaking ceremony. Hopefully, I can, we can do a little filming, show people what we did. Let's have these kind of little meetings here and there. I'll keep you up, everybody updated, keep the internet updated, and, uh, and we'll see how we go. And we, we are too far now to, be, you know, to, um, to stop the project. We're doing well. I'm really happy how far we got. Our president is a bit nervous, but we keep convincing him that, yes, everybody's on the board, and we should be good. And this is the last slide, and the, the Buddha's... Uh, Loop uh, saying about, I say, an offering made to the Sangha is immeasurable. Uh, and, and I say that no way is a gift to a person individually ever more fruitful than offering to made to the whole Sangha. So this will not only be for the monks, the first uh, stage is for the monks, but also for the nuns. We need to first move the monks out so we can, you know, that's, we start with that project. Then we, uh, the stages two and three, uh, we'll see how it goes. If everybody's really, if it's going forward, we're gonna have the lay center coming. We have a new Dhamma hall and, uh, and a meditation hall there and Dana Sala where we offer the food. But that's a bit, for, bit for, uh, further in the future. Let's do the monk side first and see how we go. And um, I'm really confident we'll do well. Very good, thank you for everybody. And that's for the YouTube. And now the questions.